So we're talking about uh, Shakti pumps right now. The stock is doing well. In fact, not only right now, ever since the numbers uh, came out, the blockbuster fourth quarter numbers and the management also raised their guidance going forward, the stock has been doing well. The essence of uh, improved outlook from the management was the Kusum opportunity, uh, where solar pumps uh, are actually seeing high demand in the rural side. Uh, Shakti pumps management uh, is joining us. Mr. Maru is joining us uh, now. Uh, but before that, uh, uh, we, before we speak about how the demand is actually rising, one of the bigger players, one of the biggest power generators in the company, Tata Power, was earlier on the channel and they also reiterated that point that increased solar pump demand is happening. They of course are a generator, but they, are, they were talking about, alluding about the big Kusum opportunity. So we are going to talk to Shakti Pumps about that. But before that, let's get a slice of what Tata Power had to say about Kusum. How would you achieve such kind of a transformation for a sector which in a sense is still regulated and still has a lot of issues both at the state level and also at the regulatory level? So, uh, uh, as we had earlier informed, uh, we are not setting up any more greenfield or brownfield coal-based plants. So, all our investment is in renewable business uh, and uh, from our present 30% non-carbon will become about 60% by 2025 and 70-75% by 2030. And uh, we do have a roadmap whereby as and when our coal plants uh, complete their useful life and the PPA gets over, uh, we, we decommission them. So we are very clear that we want to move away from uh, carbon-based generation to non-carbon generation. Now, having said that, uh, I think that there are the technology intervention of decarbonization also gives the technology of distributed energy. And we are seeing that large number of consumers are now moving towards whether it is rooftop solar for residential purpose or industrial and commercial purpose. A huge number of opportunities are coming up where industries, commercial establishments, and residential people are coming forward. We have ourselves uh, extended our services in more than 100 cities. And uh, in the last uh, three years, uh, we find that uh, the traction is phenomenal. In fact, uh, the growth has been nearly four times in uh, the rooftop segment, and we expect this will increase by 10 times in the next five years. Right. Uh, Akhilesh Maru, good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, you know, earlier in the con call, your management said how they are aiming at around 60, 70,000 solar pumps because the government is putting out a tender of about 4 lakhs and you're aiming at 60, 70,000 of them to be uh, your coming your way in the next couple of quarters. Now, bigger power generators are also re-emphasizing the way Kusum scheme is panning out. Uh, talk to us about how meaningful could the numbers or financials of the company can transform if indeed you're able to uh, you know, get the targeted amount because your, we saw your Q4, if that is any signs or guide of higher solar pumps coming your way could do to the numbers. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, as uh, we discussed uh, a lot about the Kusum projects and the big numbers, so I'll start with when last year the project came, it was only 1.8 lakh pumps and now it is, we are talking about 3.2 lakh pumps plus 70-80,000 from the last year carried forward numbers. And uh, <clears throat> we are talking about, we are targeting around 50 to 60,000 pumps this year from the Kusum side, and we are, well, we are very well prepared for that. And we are also targeting OEM's business where we are supplying our pumps, VFDs to, uh, you know, big, big players like Tata, uh, Adani, Wari, where they enter into this kind of tenders. And the other side, we are also working with the state government separate projects where the state government coming up beyond Kusum projects. So these are the things where we are actually targeting. Like talking about <clears throat> the yearly um, financial performance and all, if all uh, we get what we are targeting, I think probably we are trying to touch around 2,000 crore top line. Right. Uh, 2,000 crore top line uh, for FY22 versus 900 odd which stood uh, for FY21. I'm told that you're also attempting to improve margins on that 2,000 crore top line by way of improved efficiencies internally 
trying to bring different costs, including uh, HR and raw material costs, lower. So what kind of uh, margins are we talking about here? We've already seen your overall costs go down, with manufacturing costs, interest costs, all of that. Do you have more scope for demonstrating that in 22 as well? See, as the utilization level goes up, we get benefits of uh, operating leverage, we get benefit of uh, scalability. So hopefully uh, we are trying, hopefully we can improve, we will try to improve our margins and we are trying hard to do that because uh, the base is also large this year. And uh, last year uh, in FI21, our margins are around uh, 15 and a half, 16 percent at EBITDA level and around 8 percent at the PAT level. So probably we will try to cross uh, about 16 percent at EBITDA and about 8 percent in uh, PAT level. Of uh, uh, 2000 crore top line, anywhere around 150, 160 crore uh, is, a, is the kind of profitability which is not ruled out for FY22, right? See, uh, our calculation is purely based on the top line. Like if we are talking about, let's say, the numbers of 50, 60,000 pumps, if we get from the Kusum scheme, then OEM's target, if we get, and the state governments, what we are talking, if we get the numbers from the state government also. Yeah, we can touch this 2,000 crore top line. And anyways, whenever we enter into this kind of tenders, we work on a certain margin basis business. So hopefully, if top line is intact, then margins will be there. You focus for a second and talk about the export opportunity. Uh, how much is exports right now as your overall uh, 930 crore odd top line? And uh, right now, it was mostly a part of Africa, but do you see that also becoming the base, also becoming bigger for your exports? And what kind of margins do you have on exports? Yeah, see, right now we have almost 19 20 percent of our export sales, which is around 180 crores and 930 crores. And uh, this year, uh, we are trying this this 180 crore sales is purely a commercial sales to our dealer, distributor, and local representative. So we are targeting these sales to take up to, let's say, 225 to 250 crores. And beyond that, we also have a Uganda solar project, Uganda government solar pump project, where we are talking about implementation or execution of 250 crore projects. And this, this project is of two years life, but we may try to end up, uh, we may try to finish this project in this year itself. Okay. So just to get right, out of your 2,000 crore targeted top line, uh, if the ratio remains the same, then we talk about 20% of it coming from exports. But you see upside in the proportion also going higher. How much can exports grow at? See, exports are anyways like, uh, the numbers are like, you know, very uh, numbers on a higher side from 180 crore to we are talking about 450 crores. Uh, so numbers on a very higher side, as we have a project also. But overall, uh, from the total sales of percentage of total sales, maybe 25 percent of total sales. Sure. And one last question is on uh, capacity utilizations. Uh, we understand you still have scope for increasing your utilization levels and achieving these targets uh, without feeling the need for. Uh, uh, more capex. So, if your current utilization, uh, what is your current utilization, and how much can it go up by when you don't feel the need for uh, you know fresh capex? And what is the full capacity utilization potential of sales? Uh, we can go up to with, with all with all segments. We can go up to around 2,200, 2,300 crores. Earlier, we had only we had manufacturing facility only for pump set. Now we have VFDs also, we have our own structure facilities also. So all put together, we can get, get, go up to 2,200, 2,300 crores total, like 100% utilization. Right. All right, Akhilesha, we'll let you go on that one. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, clarifying on uh, what kind of uh, performance can your shareholders expect in FY22. Uh, that Thank was uh, Shakti Pumps. And Akhilesh Maru was talking about the kind of number which can be attempted because of Kusum opportunity and, of course, 
uh, exports. The stock is gaining 5% in trade today.